I'm going to show you how to download and install .NET 9 and the latest version of Visual Studio, which is our IDE, in order to be able to work in .NET 9. So let's get into it. So I'm just going to click on Google Download .NET 9 and we'll see the first thing we have here in the Microsoft's website, we should see we should be redirected to the page that allows us to install the .NET 9 SDK. And in the time of recording this tutorial, we have the fifth preview of .NET 9. Probably when you will see this, it will be fully out, the uh, final .NET 9 version. But this is what we'll use and there shouldn't be many changes with the final version. So here we have .NET 9 preview 5. Depending on your operating system here, just choose the correct one for you. I am using Windows and my processor is a 64 processor. I'll select this option right here and we'll wait for the .NET 9 SDK to be installed. So it is already installed. Let me click on it. I'll click on install here. Okay, the installation was successful. Let me close this window here and now if we just go back to the page we previously were we can actually check what we can go here to .NET preview 5 to release notes to see what version of Visual Studio .NET 9 actually requires if we scroll a bit below we will see that .NET 9 is compatible with Visual Studio 17.11 latest preview and if I click on it can basically download the latest version here in this part by just going to community 22 to download the free version and the downloads start right here but I actually have the Visual Studio installed and I could have just updated it on my application but let's see how it works right here if I click on it I should receive the option to actually just upgrade Continue. Now the Visual Studio installer is opened and it gives us the option to update to the latest version. I'm just going to click on update and the download starts. We'll give it a bit of time. Now after a while the Visual Studio's latest version is already installed as we can see here. So we have the latest version of .NET, the latest version of Visual Studio and we are ready to go. Now, one last thing you want to do if you are using a preview version like myself is actually going to need to go to the settings to Visual Studio to allow these previews. So let me open up Visual Studio. Click on continue without code so I don't need to open a specific project. Go to tools. Go to manage preview features. And a bit below we should see an option here we should click on this option here use previews of the dotnet sdk this enables the ability as we can see here to consume preview sdks by default if i click on i click on it click on ok if we restart the visual studio then we should be able to work with the preview version of dotnet 9. You can click the video or the playlist on the screen if you want to learn how to build MVC web applications in ASP.NET Core. So click on the screen and I will see you in the next video.